Hi everyone, it's Jordan again, and even though my co-star has her back to you right now, Lucy has decided to join us again for today. <laughs> a few weeks ago, we were visited by a very good friend of ours who we hadn't gotten the chance to see in quite a while. And among other things, one of the main things that we talked about was different Bible verses and different lessons that we felt like God had been teaching us recently, sometimes through very difficult experiences. But just the same, we felt like God had been teaching us these things. And then earlier today, I got something from him in the mail. So for today's message, I want to first give him a special shout out. And I also want to read the beautiful devotion that he shared with me. I want to share it with all of you. Praise has an amazing way of freeing us from our earthly fears by reminding us that Jesus has already conquered our every concern. Processing news through the lens of God's truth allows us to stay anchored to his promises. When I fear danger, I can remember that Jesus is my protector. When I fear future needs, I can remember Jesus is my shepherd. When I fear sadness, I can remember Jesus is my comforter. When I fear hard choices, I can remember that Jesus is my wisdom. When I fear sickness, I can remember that Jesus is my great physician. When I fear devastation, I can remember that Jesus is making all things new. How wonderful to be reminded that there is not a single piece of news, good or bad, that has ever taken God by surprise. Jesus, may I lay my fears at your feet today. My every answer is met in you. Aren't those beautiful promises in that devotional? Another one of the things that we talked about when I got to see him the other day was the Bible verse Exodus 14:14. 14, 14. It says, the Lord fights for you. You need only to be still. Now we've talked a lot about being still before and what that means, but how is it possible to do that when we have, to quote the devotional, fear, danger, needs, sadness, hard choices, sickness, devastation, just to name a few. I'm sure you have your own personal list full of all the hard things going on in your life. So how is that possible when all these things and more are going on and this is no easy list? How is it possible to be still when it feels like there's constantly things that are, that are either clamoring for our attention or things that we feel like we have to actively be fighting against? How can you say God, how can, how can God sit there and say to us, be still? Be still. Well, he gives us the answer in Exodus 14, 14. Because God is fighting for us. God is fighting for us. He is our, back to our devotional, he's our protector. He's our shepherd. He's our comforter. He's our wisdom. He's our great physician. He's making all things new on and on and on every need that we have every struggle that we're facing on this list not on this list things that people know about things that are just deep inside of our hearts that we're struggling with god is the answer for them and he's making all things new and none of these things that are going on are taking god by surprise god is in control of everything he is over everything he has a perfect plan for everything and so when we read that God is fighting for us and our job is just to be still, we can trust that. We can know that that's true. God asks us to be still and confidently know that he is in control, that he's got this, that he is fighting for us. I heard someone say the other day not to look at God through life's circumstances but to look at life's circumstances through God. And that kind of reminds me of this devotional and of this, this Bible verse. I wonder what would change if we woke up every day knowing God is fighting for me. God is fighting for my health. God is fighting for my job. God is fighting for my loved one. God is fighting for me today. I don't know what the answers look like. I don't know that I don't know what that means. And we might not understand until we reach heaven what exactly that looks like, what exactly God had going on, what he had planned. But we know that he has his hand in it. 
And we know that he has a plan in each one of those circumstances that you're going through right now. And he is fighting for you. So take heart and be still. And let us all say this prayer together. It's at the bottom of this devotional. Jesus, may I lay my fears at your feet today because my every answer is met in you. God is fighting for us. Hope that encouraged you today. God is good all the time. Love you.